What up YouTube and what up my followers? I got a new review coming today on the Hayes RDA clone from Fast Tech. Now, normally Fast Tech can eat a dick. You know what I mean? Slow tech, whatever you want to call it, they can eat a motherfucking dick either way you want to call them. The thing about them is, is it's iffy. Sometimes you can get a good RDA, good mod, whatever. Then other times it's just straight shit. Something thrown together on a production line, mass quantity. You know how it goes. If you don't know how it is, I'm going to tell you. With Fast Tech, you pay for extra shipping. You are the faster shipping. And they still fuck you off. You're supposed to get it in 10 to 14 days. You end up getting it in 27 to 31 days. That's just how it is. I mean, Fast Tech get mad, they can blow my motherfucking dick for all I care. I honestly don't care. But. One thing I am going to say is that this RDA, I've hit the authentic, and I think this one hits harder than the authentic. I mean, that's just in my opinion. You got a problem with what I'm saying? Say it in the fucking quote. I really don't give a shit what you think, because this is my video. But anyways, it's 22 millimeter RDA. It has... The quad base, you know, four holes. That way it's easy to build a dual coil. I mean, you could easily build dual parallel. I mean, easy. Not a problem. It's not fucking up. It don't get too hot. I mean, it, it, it vapes amazingly. Shout out to Birdman. Walter the Birdman himself. Yep, you see that, guys? That's that big ghost motherfucking status. Big ghost. That's me, yo. Big ghost. Yes. I appreciate it. Much love. If you want to check this out, I have a review on this. Go down to my videos and check it out. Birdie Juice's Big Ghost Status. Get you some. Get you some. I mean, this shit is amazing. While I'm at it, get you one of these, too. Rage Box Mods. Hardest hit and unregulated mod you can get right now. Get your hands out there and get that shit. Get your hands out there and get it, because you ain't going to have it until it's in your hand. And then when you get it in your hand, the rage is in your motherfucking hand. You go, pop, pop, blow them clouds, son. No, just fuck around. It's kind of late here, and I'm kind of all I'm kind of all over the place a little bit. Sorry I didn't post that video yesterday. I had some technical issues going on and shit like that. But I'm all back up and going. It might be late, but hey, my fans get that video, I'm going to put the video out there. You know what I mean? Let me go ahead and drip real quick. I'm going to show you the cloud production I can get with this Hayes RDA. And another thing, it comes, when it when you get it, it says Hayes RDA. You mean, it, if, I honestly think, in my opinion, if you're making a clone, to make the clone, and you, you don't use, like, brands and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Just clone it. Don't completely steal somebody's idea, because that's just fucking wrong. I don't know, build on it. Take somebody's idea and make it your own. Add something else to it. I mean, every invention is an idea for somebody else on another invention. Just like in songs, they use some part of a lyric to make somebody else's song. I mean, this is how it is. It's a business. People, you can't build on ideas if you don't use somebody else's ideas too. You know what I mean? It's the only way to get forward. So if you want to bitch about using a clone, go fuck yourself. I mean, not everybody's going to go out and pay a hundred something dollars for an authentic RDA when they can go and get a clone one just, just as good. I mean, I'm not saying go to Fast Tech and get it. If, you, if it's necessary for you to go to Fast Tech, then go to Fast Tech. If not, then go to your local vape shop, find you a good RDA. You can get you a good clone for around 20, 30 bucks. I mean, it's worth it. If you get the right one, I'm not going to say every clone is going to be a good one because Nine times out of ten, the authentic is better, but it's like with food. You can get a great value brand, and then you can have the uh, na uh, natural brand, and the great value tastes better. I mean, you never know. It's it's your preference, but fuck you if you get mad about people using the clone. I don't give a shit. Here we go. I'm using 22 gauge Mad Rabbit wire. I got five wraps on a 1 8 screwdriver. And this gets vapor, great vapor reduction. I mean, I just hit it in all in all five or six times and it doesn't get hot. I mean, 
I built down to point zero six on this thing and it didn't do anything it didn't melt nothing it didn't hurt nothing let me see one problem I did have with this is the o-rings I had to change out the o-rings because the o-ring right on the top and this is a fixed strip tip this does come with the chuff like the size of a chuff enough maybe a little bit bigger but it is a fixed strip tip like I said 22 millimeter uh, RDA comes with a fixed strip tip comes in three pieces you got your base you got your sleeve and you got your drip tip it has where you can run let me show you you have two air holes on this side two air holes on this side see what I'm talking about right here look see if you can see it it says Hayes Fape Head Origins Numbers uh, 3910. Got it from Fast Tech. The thing is, it's my new favorite RDA. I can't say that much. But, one, I'm going to go back to this. It does have four air holes that, if you line your coil directly in the center of that, you get perfect airflow. I mean, you can, you can shorten your airflow down to whatever you want, make it halfway, whatever, you know. And then the cool thing about it is you can switch it over, turn the cap, and you can make it to where it's just single air hole on each side. Now I'm not sure, let me see. There's absolutely no way that you can make it a single hole. That's not what this is made for. You get four air holes, you get two air holes. Me, I like wide, I like running it wide open. I mean it's perfect airflow for me. Like I said, my build's about 0 .08, 0 .09. I got five wraps of Mad Rabbit wire. Reviews coming on that next week. Get ready for it. Because if you haven't had Mad, Rye, Mad Rabbit wire, shit, you ain't really vaping. Let me drip again. But the, like I said, the O-rings I had a problem with. The, the one on the drip tip was too stiff and... I changed it out. You can go to your, your your local hardware store. I go to Ace Hardware for a lot of my needs like that. But you can go, you can buy an O-ring. You can buy an O-ring kit. It has a bunch of different sizes in it. Find the one that fits best. I mean, this is perfect for me now. One more thing I had to change was the screws that they put in the top, your top screws, they, they, they strip out. All right, I had two of them strip out. They send you extra ones, so they're pretty much saying, hey, here's some extra because this shit's going to fuck up on you. Like I said, it's a clone. You get what you pay for, period. So, I, in my opinion, think that this is a badass buy. I mean, I got it for $9.89. It took forever to fucking get here. It's slow tech. What do you expect? But it got here... And I'm, I'm impressed with it. I honestly am. I This is my first RDA review. And it's just because that this RDA may be a clone. But it's a hard hitting fucking clone. The Hayes RDA at Fast Tech. It's not under Hayes. It's under Haz. I think is how you pronounce it. H-A-Z-Z. -Z. But when you get it, don't say Haz. And they could have left the Haz. I mean, that's something else that could be different. But they put a Hayes on it and... Sorry, Hayes, but it hits harder than the authentic. I mean, that's just how it is. Maybe they did something that you didn't. It has uh, copper firing or the bottom pin. And so, I don't know. If you like clones, go get you one. If you don't, then whatever. I could give two shits. I mean, I like vaping on this. Great vapor production. Great vapor production. I myself, favorite RDA. If you want to get you one, go to fasttech.com. It's under Haz, H A Z Z. Get you one. It'll take you 31 days to get it, but you'll be happy when you do get it. Now, I'm Big Ghost, and I'll be back next week. I'll be back on Wednesday. Sorry for all the technical glitches, but I'll be back. Big Ghost and I'm signing out. Peace.